in 2005, Dr. Gickless from National Jewish uh, started talking to me about split products of complement activation. C3A was a big player in our early work. Um, it turns out that C4A that she suggested I take a look at, we didn't have the money to do that. And when Mold Warriors was produced, all I had was C3A. A couple months later, we started doing C4A. And, and basically, C4 is a structure of complement. It's got a big sign on it that says, activate me. So activation of C4 by something is accomplished by turning on an enzyme with an acronym M as in Mary, A, S as in Sam, P as in Paul, 2, or <coughs> mannose binding elected associated serine protease. MASP2 is activated by compounds called phycolins and by acetylated compounds coming from the environment. I told you about my fear about Benamil moving an acetyl group from one place on a mycotoxin to another. What actually happened in these mutant mycotoxins, in my opinion, these mutant fungi, is that with the new gene with beta tubulin, now indoors, they became able to manufacture a toxin that this time MASP2 could identify. And the toxicity is coming from C4A. And to make it even worse, MASP2 auto activates. It turns itself on. So by use of Benamil, beginning in 1970, when it was added to paints to prevent growth of uh, oridio basidium pullulans, one of these things that grows on paint films, you know, you made the paint last longer, reduce maintenance. But what we did is create a whole series of mutant fungi. And in the Benamil chapter on surviving mold, I go through chapter and verse of each one of the different penicilliums, aspergillus, dicubotrus, ketomiums that are mutated by, by Benamil. Nonetheless, if we don't have an acetyl group or a phycolin activator, will you turn on MASP2 early on? No. Will you have elevated C4A? No. 